Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is going to be on this cherry red villainess type of makeup look. Honestly, this entire look was created around this lip combo. I've been wearing it so often lately. It's just such a perfect muted red shade for fall and winter and I've actually partnered with Peri Peri today to share it with you. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, we're gonna start with the brows today. I'm using my M Cosmetics Fine Liner Brow Pencil. To start with the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to use a lip tint. I'm using Peri Peri's Ink the Velvet in number 17 Rosy Nude. Applying that to the back of my hand. Then blend it out a little bit before applying it to the eyes. I kind of understand why cream eyeshadows are the thing now. Like, I used to hate cream eyeshadows, but look how easily they blend out. With the eyeliner, we're just going to do a regular wing. Next, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 712 Either Cherry. I love these Makeup Forever pencils because they can be used on the eyes, lips, and brows. And then taking a darker brown pencil, I'm going to line the waterline and bring it down here. And make a little triangle. I'm taking another Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Up and Down Tan and then blending it in. I know it's a lot of pencils, but I just feel like it makes a difference. Maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference. I'm just being annoying. Let's take the brown and then blend it just underneath the waterline. And then take the red pencil again and outline this. Create a little shadow here. Next, we're gonna take a concealer pencil. We're gonna use that to create the egg yourself, but also to clean up this line. Next, I'm gonna take the Flower Nose Glitter in Perfect Blossom. If you want a more precise application with this, apply it to the back of your hand. And since you like kind of flatten the brush and it's sharp now, you can pick up as much product as you want and then just apply it. And then I'm gonna apply double eyelid tape because I woke up with, how do you know? Like the eyelid shape keeps changing. Curl the lashes. And then I'm using Clio's Kill Lash Superproof Mascara Long Curling. For lashes, I'm wearing these ones from YesStyle again. They're just so flattering for my eyes. They give you that perfect like spiky lash look. In the past, like in 2017, there was a specific lash. I don't know if you guys remember. It was Lily Lashes in the style like Miami or something. They had like this separated lash look. And I bought them and they like literally covered up my entire eyelid. This is the perfect version of that for Asian eyes. Because I applied the lashes, we kind of lost that red. So I'm actually using up and down tan to go over that line again. And then I'm gonna add and mix in the red. Next, I'm gonna apply foundation. I'm using the Mary Mond little cake cushion. Korean cushion foundations are usually too pink for me, but this one's like a perfect amount of yellow. This cushion is also super full coverage, so I feel like I don't even need concealer. Next, I'm gonna set the base with my translucent loose setting powder. Next, I'm gonna use my Peri Para Ink the Velvet number no. 17 Rosy Nude as a blush. So I apply it to the back of my hand. I'll just apply it. I like doing this after I set the makeup because it lasts a lot longer this way. And because this lip tint has more of a moussey texture, it doesn't really disrupt the base makeup. You guys know if you've felt this formula before, it dries down into like a little bit of a powdery matte. So that's why this works even after you set your base makeup. It's such a pretty shade. This is also a very flattering lip color. If you guys have been here for a while, you know this is one of my favorite lip colors. Peri Peri actually tested a bunch of different variations of warm and cool tones before they finally decided on this rosy pink nude shade. And they actually made this to enhance the natural color of your lips. So I'm gonna show you how you can use it to go from a lighter pink nude to a deeper mauve. I'm going to apply lip liner to contour the lips. You wanna use a lip liner that's like one to two shades darker than the lip color you're gonna use because it's supposed to create like a shadow effect. I'm just blending that out a little bit. And then next I'll show you how to use Peri Peri's Ink the Velvet Lip Tint in number 17 Rosy Nude to get a light pink shade. It's essentially you're using it as a lip stain. So this is how you get it to last a really long time. So I'm first gonna start by exfoliating my lips. So let's apply it directly. And then we're gonna leave this on for 30 seconds. Remove the excess product. 
and you can see it leaves you with a really nice light pink long-lasting stain and then if you want to make it darker then you can just reapply over the stain this is how it looks layered Usually layering lipstick really dries out my lips, but this formula is very light and creamy, so it doesn't dry out your lips or make them feel sticky like other lip tints do. It just looks more soft and blurred. And then I'm also gonna apply my favorite gloss right now. Literally, every time I wear this on Instagram, you guys are always asking me what lip color it is, so this is what it is. It's the Peripera Ink Glass and Gloss in their new shade Made It. This is their darkest shade, I believe, and it's a deep cherry red. So perfect for fall and winter. Like, are you joking? This lip color is so pretty. Peri Peri's lip products are already pretty affordable on Amazon, but they're having one of their biggest sales of the year at up to 50% off from November 23rd to November 27th. So make sure to shop now before they sell out. Next, I'm gonna contour. I started only contouring my nose lately. I saw something about how when you turn 24, that's when your face starts like maturing more. And I feel like I've definitely noticed it recently. I don't know if you guys can tell. I used to get jaw Botox to make my face smaller and I've been gradually decreasing how much I get and how often I get it. Now that I'm aging and my face is getting more hollow, that's why I don't really feel like contouring my face lately. I feel like it's not super flattering when I contour my cheekbones. I'm kind of into this like vampy vibe we have going on. So I'm going to take the Patrick Ta blush in She's So LA. On their website, honestly, it looks more like a warm toned brown, but I would say this is more of like a pinky brown. I'm going to add some beauty marks. Final, final finishing touch. I'm using the Flower Nose Celestial Castle Palette. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. I'm just using this shade. I kind of want like a more matte nose highlight. We definitely lost a lot of the eye details too, so I'm gonna add this back in. I'm using a concealer pencil. And I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna go finish getting ready and I will show you the final look. And this is the completed look. I changed into this black dress because I feel like this look is giving a manhua villainous. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Peri Peri for sponsoring this video. Remember to shop their up to 50% off deal and I will see you in my next video. Bye.